Chainsaw Fundamentals or Newcomers. Unit 4, Global Connections. Week of May 4th, 2020. The outcome this week is that students will describe weather conditions in writing that relate to an endangered animal. Since we will be doing some writing, I need you to get paper and a pencil. I'll give you a little bit of time to go get those things. Now let's look at different types of weather that we talked about last week. Point to the picture that shows windy. It is windy outside. Windy. Yes, you got it. I see her hat flying off her head. I see her hair blowing in the wind. And I see the trees bending and blowing in the wind. Now let's point to a picture that shows it is rainy outside. Rainy. You got it. I see water on the ground making a puddle. I see a rain jacket and a rain hat. And I see raindrops falling from the sky. Now let's point to the picture that shows snowy. It is snowy outside. Yes, good job. I see the snow covering the ground, and I see that it's hard for the cars to drive in the snow. Now let's point to a picture that shows how sunny it is outside. Sunny. Yes, it is so sunny, I think I need my sunglasses. Good job remembering all the weather words. Now let's try to match the words to the pictures about weather. The first word says rainy. Match the word rainy to the picture that shows it's rainy outside. Yes, that's it. Now let's try snowy. Snowy. It is snowy outside today. You got it. And the next word says windy, windy. Yes, that's it. And the last word says sunny, sunny. Point to the picture that shows that it is sunny outside. Good job reading all the words with me today. Next, we're going to practice reading sentences about the weather and then we will write about them. The first sentence says, it is, what type of weather do you think it is outside in that picture? Yes, it is windy outside. Read that with me, please. It is windy outside. Now try to read it by yourself. You did it. It is windy outside. Now you need your paper and your pencil because we are going to try to write the words. It is windy outside. That's a big word. Period. It is windy outside. Write that for me on your paper. It is windy outside. It is windy outside. Now what do you think about this picture? What is the weather like outside? It is 
You're right. It is sunny outside. Read that with me, please. It is sunny outside. Now it's time to write. Do you have your paper and pencil ready? Because now it's time to write about this picture. It is sunny outside, outside, period. It is sunny outside. Write that for me, please. It is sunny outside, outside. It is sunny outside. Good job. Before we move on to the next one, I want to teach you something new. There is another way to say it is. You can write it like this and say it's. It's sunny outside or it's windy outside. Instead of it is, you can say it's. Something else we're going to try, we're going to try adding an I-N-G to the end of the word. Raining. It is raining. That means it's happening right now. Raining. Snowing. Now let's take a look at this picture and talk about what's happening outside. It's raining outside. It's raining outside. Say that with me. It's raining outside. Now try to say it by yourself. You did it. It's raining outside. Good job. Now let's try to write that sentence using the new ways I just showed you. It's I T apostrophe S. Raining. We're going to use the I N G. It's raining out side outside period. It's raining outside. That means it's happening right now. I see the boys and the girls running in the rain right now. Now let's take a look at the next picture. It's snowing outside. You're right. It's snowing outside. Say that with me. It's snowing outside. Let's get your paper and pencil ready. Let's try to write that sentence. It's I T apostrophe S. It's snowing. I N G out side period. It's snowing outside. It's snowing right now. It's snowing outside. Good job writing these sentences. Let's review and listen to a couple new things about pandas. 
and then share this information with your family. Do you remember that panda bears eat mostly bamboo? They spend about 14 hours a day eating. The other time is spent sleeping off and on. They also have strong claws and long bony wrists that help them grab the bamboo and hold on to it when they're eating. They have 42 strong teeth in their mouth. Their teeth are used for biting and for chewing. Where do pandas live? Let's find out some information about their habitat. We live here in North America. We need to travel around the world and go to China to find the panda bears. They live in the mountainous regions where there are a lot of trees called forests. We're going to talk about why pandas are considered endangered animals, animals that need our help. Well, some people like to cut down the bamboo forest where they live. When this happens, the pandas have nothing to eat and it's hard for them to get to the other parts of the mountain to live. If this happens, they can die. So we wanna help them and protect them one way is to keep them in zoos where they are safe and where they can eat. People can come and watch them in the zoos. Then there's also land that we can use and where the pandas can live and eat. They stay safe there. If we continue to help the panda bears, then they will no longer be endangered animals and there will be more of them in the world. Pandas live in the bamboo forest of central China. They like the cool, wet forests that are high in the mountains. If it gets too cold, they can move around to another part of the mountain where it's a little bit warmer, but it's still wet. They also like it when it's humid. That means there's a lot of water vapor in the air. Let's talk about the weather where the panda bears live. Remember, they live in the mountainous regions in China where there are many trees called forest. That's where they find their bamboo. Pandas live where it is cool and rainy. Read that with me, please. Pandas live where it is cool and rainy. Remember, they don't like it when it's hot. Let's get ready to write. Pandas live where it is cool and rainy, period. Pandas live where it is cool and rainy. Finish writing that for me, please. Pandas live where it is cool and rainy. So let's review what we did today. We described weather. We talked about rainy, snowy, windy, and sunny weather. And then we talked about the panda bears and what type of habitat they live in and what the weather is like in the forest and the mountains where they live. You did a great job this week. Hope to see you next week. Bye.